I know you hear me. Depression is something that, and I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a psychiatrist, and depression represents a spectrum of outlook. I think one person's self-described depression is not equivalent to another person's suffering. Oh, I feel bad. I, 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 I couldn't get the deal on the fur coat today. Yeah, that's a ridiculous example, but makes the point, man. <sighs> so for those of you out there that have or are suffering depression, it's a family tradition. It's a family tradition in my family. <laughs> Now, they didn't have some effective drugs for my mother, so it was a mess. It was, uh, you talk about family traditions, well, you don't want that family tradition. A lot of violence, a lot of throwing shit and beating people up. But they got better solutions now, so... But you have to realize you got it. You have to own up to it. And you have to seek out the help. <laughs> it's been something that I can control for the most part, most of my life. Uh, I guess it's genetic. I'm not sure. Uh, it might be, you know, environmental, situational. You know, growing up in a in a violent household. So, combination of factors, but uh, I've had a pretty fairly successful life. You know, so looking normal, seeming normal, so on. Oh man! But it's always been a struggle. Oh, it's been a struggle. Sometimes it's all about act, acting. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That's fantastic. And I think the... I think the primary characteristic of depression is you just don't give a shit. It's like, Fuck, I don't care. Really? You think that's important? <laughs> yeah, it's a lack of interest and uh, lack of desire, lack of ambition. Uh, although ambition, you know, you somehow the deep, dark recesses of your fucking depressed mind, you still want to get out. You want to achieve. You want to be happy. And that all works. You know, I've managed to survive. But my doc... <laughs> Not my duck, my dock. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> voice to text. Do not translate my dock as my duck. 
<laughs> and so there you go. I mean, there's a bright spot, right? I mean, that's pretty funny. Uh, his voice to text. When I did a little spiel earlier tonight, translated my doc as my duck. My duck told me to. <laughs> So there you go, bright spot. But turns out I have high blood pressure. Something about, uh, you know, having the cancer and then laying around on the couch for six years and gaining 90 pounds. And all of a sudden, you know, there's a blood pressure issue. Who knew? Who knew? Now, I've lost 70 of those 90 pounds somehow. I'm not, I, I have no idea how that happened, but uh, so I'm almost back down to uh, the weight I was, but now my doc, not my duck, no ducks, no gooses, no ducks, no rabbits, my doc, doctor. He has decided that, uh, and this was after a two-week period of observation, he said, uh, you really do need to go on blood pressure medicine. It's too high. The risks are great, and the possible outcomes are catastrophic. Now, when you hear something like that, I mean, the average person was, hmm, okay, possible risks are catastrophic. Well, I mean, that reminds me of some really bad movies, catastrophic, so uh, I don't want to have a catastrophic outcome, so what are we going to do? Blood pressure medicine. So I've been on it for two days now. And uh, that uh, depression thing I had that I've been able to control for all my life. I don't even remember when it set in. I, I guess maybe it's been a constant my whole life, but uh, I was able to control it and have mostly a normal life. But holy shit. Whew. On this blood pressure medicine, new level of fuck you. New level of fuck you, you depressed fuck. Oh, I've never felt this bad. <laughs> so the uh, war I have been waging against uh, the body systems, the natural way the body goes about processing chemicals and so on. And I, I had kind of figured that out. And, Done a pretty good job and had a fair life. Holy shit. Not today. Uh -uh. This is a whole new fucking level of depression. I mean, it's like remove all light, all hope, the future. And they put you in a black box, nude, no toilet, nothing. And you feel around in the box. It's a small box. You don't have very far to go. So you're, you stand up 
you're nude and you, you know, you're embarrassed, but there's no light. It's black, pitch fucking black. And you're feeling the sides of the box and you, and you walk around and around and around. Okay, that wall, nothing, that wall, nothing, that wall, nothing. Oh, no fucking escape. And of course, if maybe the ceiling has an escape, but you can't reach it. You reach up there, you know. You're standing as tall as you can, and your balls and your dingling are hanging out and swinging back and forth as you're trying to reach. <sighs> That's the new level of depression. Dark fucking box with no fucking escape. So, <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to uh, bring a bright light to uh, uh, those of you out there considering taking uh, blood pressure medicine. Oh, what a wonderful experience it is. <laughs> I mean, if you've never been in a dark box with no exit while you were nude, here's your opportunity. Here's your opportunity. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get out of the dark box. But I guess they feed you. They must feed you, right? Or water you or whatever they do for and of course it's a personal mental construct where you uh, you perceive the situation and, and of course I'm not actually in a dark mental box but it sure feels that way it sure feels that way And I guess the positive thing about it is, and well, I don't feel this way yet. And I don't think I will because I've kind of kicked this, uh, this fucking assaulter, this fucking enemy depression. I've kicked depression's ass my whole life. So, okay, come on, man. Come on, bring it. Bring it. Yeah, put me in the dark box. I'm going to kick your ass again. So there's no worry about suicide. That's not going to happen. But I'm not sure what the resolution is here. What, what the... Uh, the, the solution is here. Because this is a darkness that I have never experienced. But strangely enough, <laughs> I feel stronger than ever. Fuck you, dark box. Fuck you. I'm coming after you. You better fucking run. I'm not running. Here we go. Let's have at it.